You got it. Sure. That works. Five, four, three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. Hello everybody, the fights are already started, but I'm Gazelle. They we're watching currently SIU Maroon versus Bradley uh, Warlocks. And we're on a new, uh, Nepal. This is the shrine point. You can see, <laughs> sorry, the fight's already begun, so it's very complex to try to explain this. Jack the Cool on the Zarya. Uh, we can see Townsend already took down Noah off to the side there. And this fight's probably going to be much harder for us. The, uh, this poke is not going to be sustained. They don't have the proper burst. This Reaper needs to come up huge in this fight to be able to pull up anything. Jack the Cool's melee plan is important role in this current team comp. It's going to be pretty tough for uh, SAU to close this gap. They have a, a long side line to cross. So doable, and the Reaper makes it also clear. You can see Reaper and Mirror actually both teams. Uh, Jack the Cool engaging, Drago going really low. Wow, that's an early beat. And Bradley Esports just engages and rushes down SAU. Trades out one to one, losing the tank but getting the DPS of Huntress. The DPS, the damage for Watch oh, it. Super low, does he end up dying? No, the Reaper's pushing him. The amount of heals that they pump into Jack the Cool right now is astounding. Well, ends up dying, they're likely gonna pop some ults here on points to get some to keep this fight back. Have to go looking for something. Give it a push in. No one's finding anything. <laughs> it's just kind of like oh. There we go, there's the gravity surge. That hits all five! Whoa! That's a big grab. Huge place for Zach to cool there to win that fight. Oh, maybe a bit late to pull the trigger there, but at the end of the day, very impressive fight win. Most ults for SIU are, are now down and out. Huntress and Winchester are going to have their ults to counter at least that of Drog and Thick Widow. <laughs> yes, that's the name of the Reaper. Winchester is going to be likely going to be saving this ult for that Ramatra Nemesis form, or the Ramatra Ramatra. You can see Bradley opting for this high ground, going to be dropping down onto that Reaper of Huntress. Managed to get out safely, trying to get up a little bit more ult charge. I mean, there he is, the Ramatra ult pops, and, uh, oh, super well-timed uh, ult from Winchester. And Huntress managed to clean up, uh, uh Fata Circle fell super low and almost died from the Ramatra ult, but Winchester, nice save. Uh, to mention there, Drog ended up pushing a bit too far in, honestly. Got a bit over his head and didn't block early enough, so he, he got bursted down way faster than he, than he was expected to be. Die. See SIU just enjoying this poke game. We can see the issue with the Zarya on this point. Uh, he's not getting much uh, charge but, like, prior to these deep points. So he has to spend the first check to cool punch to pull to the Deadeye. He's gonna be he's gonna be living, but the the skill is taking the rest of the Drog pushing in. Aura pops the old, pushes in, no uh no on to pull into the widow. One DPS means the damage is cut in half, and Jack the Cool ends up dying as well, with uh, the rest of SAU just decided to leave. Hey. Ultra, both teams are looking not that ready. <laughs> so Bradley has two, and SIU actually is approaching a number of ults, two, uh, three of them, in fact. We're going to be seeing trading Moira ults, likely, in this fight. Uh, and it, this fight's likely going to come down to who can utilize that Moira ult better. Who can get the more value from that? Jack the Cool trying to get as much charge as he can. There we go, both ults getting popped for Moira's. You can see uh, Vader Circle using most of, most of these ults for healing. Oh, and Jack the Cool falls super low against the Huntress, and, and Thick Widow finds the kill. It is still 1 1 though. They managed to find uh, passing up to the side, and they go from Noel, finds one. Ramacha pops his ult, and then Vader to Winchester decides to counter it. His ult of his own. <laughs> just baiting, running around the circle, the pyramid, or the, sorry, the pillar from Drog. Trying to just avoid this. He ends up getting pulled into the gravity with Graviton Search. The Reaper has the turn. Way too drawn of a fight for SIU, and at the end of the day, this is still overtime for uh, Bradley. Oh, no, that's a really bad guess. Huge ult from Huntress to fight, too! 
Oh, that's gonna clutch it out. That actually ends up winning the point. Big place for Hunter's thing. That was looking really, really dire for SAU. I like it would have lost that fight if the Hunters did not pull off that clutch play. Very impressive. Only one ult, really, for Bradley Esports coming into this fight. Aura has, I think Aura's got three ults in this round of low. Incredibly well done. And just immediate rush in. Honestly, maybe a bit too early of a pop, but still ends up getting a lot of value. Oh, Teleton plus Huntress. That's not a C. That's not a W C. And at this point, the damage is so lacking. Yeah, Jack the Cool crumbles, and the rest of SAU is just going to die with him. And that's likely going to be the round. Yeah. Point gets flipped. No, going to attempt to touch, but can't even get to the point. And that's the first round going to Bradley Esports. I think Jack the Cool really liking this area. The so, issue with it, uh, and what I'm noticing, is that because of the, the fact that you lose charge so quickly, you end up just not having much charge at the start of these fights. And you have to really uh, just hope that you can get that charge early and get that damage ramp up early. Uh, and if you don't, you're just going to be useless for the first start of the fight. He's been fortunate enough to get those early uh, charge, or the, the early charge in the fights, but... Then you lose the bubble, and you could have protected your teammates from potential uh, troubles. But he's going to be sticking with it, and I think it's fine pick. Zara is certainly not uh, bad here, but it might be better choices. Oh, that's really not good. Jack the Cole falling from the high ground. And going to be having to take the long rotate to meet up with his teammate. Tauten on, or yeah, Town Town on the side of Bradley Esports, opting for the May. Oh, big wall! Jack the Cool gets cut off from the rest of the team, and we can already see the May paying off right there. And Jack the Cool, the crucial mistake of falling off the high ground, coming to bite him in the butt. That's really unfortunate for, for SIU. And the first fight just immediately does not go their way. Bradley looking to secure an early lead on the second point, trying to uh, get the quick 2 0 on Nepal. Aura get falling kind of low in the back there to Noel. Oh, I I questioned the play of the May so far back. Jack the Cool, you were going to see the wall as soon as any bullet crosses this threshold. Jack the Cool just, what in the world? It just ate all of that damage and he's just dead. And as the rest of SAU is forced to back up, they're going to push into by Drog. Drog chasing down no here and he ends up dying to the Lunar. Wow. That's a that's a tragic fight for SIU. They're down on ults, they're down on players, they're down on time. This is quite dire. The entirety of Bradley Esports is approaching getting their ults, and while most of SIU is too, uh, the positioning is in favor of Bradley. SIU opting to not push that high ground. Coming through main. See if they can rush through before the main can get over. Bradley not able to throw it in time, and SAU managed to find, it, find their way onto the point. You see the, the, the old trades happening right now. Two olds for both teams. Or, okay, there we go. Two olds for both teams. There goes the beat for Aura. And Jack the Cool not able to have the healing and ends up dying. The old economy there was just slightly better for Bradley Esports and ended up going their way. Winchester hopefully going to be able to get out of the situation alive. He's Lucio. He likely can. See him there. He has the his beat up online. Yeah, Winchester gets out safely. We can see Noel now deciding to switch over to that Bastion. Maybe a bit of a panic pick, maybe a bit of a comfort pick. Who knows? We'll see. But SAU does manage to find the way onto the point, but oh, clutch bubble onto uh, Noel there. And Jack the Cool managed to live out the blizzard with the bubbles that he had on point. It's all super low. 70 HP, big bubble. Uh, these players for SAU end, end, up, end up falling while Jack the Cool is distracted. And he's staying alive and trades can happen. Aura is down. Drog falls. That was an overextension from middle of an ult, unfortunately. I'm sure Jack the Cool knows that, but. By the way, the Bastion pick ended up working. I'm surprised SAU actually managed to win that fight. They lost too early. Jack the Cool secured that kill in Town Town. And the rest of SAE, or the rest of Bradley, I guess, was just too weak to properly put a counterattack. Now, SIU looking to hold off. Oh my, Jack the Cool, super low. Immediately. 
damage. He's stopped taking so much damage. Oh, and he gets caught out because of the speed rush. Oh my, and there was no one. And this one's already over. I spoke too soon. I'm just looking to make a comeback here, trying to split the ties, but too little, too late it seems. And that's gonna be the end of SIU for Nepal. Made a circle, lucky to try to make a touch right here. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't even get there. And that goes, there goes Nepal, 2-0 in favor of Bradley Esports. Very well done.
I'm Gazelle once again. We're joined back for SIU and versus, or SIU Maroon, I should say, versus Bradley University Warlocks. Cool name. Uh, and we're on Route 66 this time. The score is currently, as you can see on the screen, 1 0 in the favor of SIU. Um, oh, sorry, I'm mistaken. 1 0 in the favor of Bradley Warlocks. <laughs> sorry. Uh, SIU down 1 0. And they were. The previous map was Nepal, and it was actually a rather not close game. Bradley kind of just rolled SIU. Uh, I think a big part of that was honestly the lack of switches from the tank for SIU. I don't think there's, he was on Zarya most of the time, and I don't think that was beneficial for the team. Um, and it ended up like not working, but I don't think it was only that. There's other things. This time, though, a Jack will opted for the Winston gameplay. And he begins to take this high ground. Pushes the soldier off, forces them back. You can see that Brig uh, or hiding behind that wall. This Winston pick was likely actually frustrated. And the Brig makes it really hard to actually push those uh, push the supports. You can see Huntress beginning to take a bit of aggression. And Jack the jumps into the high ground. Pushes back, supports, and is securing this uh, high ground for his team. Brigitte gets up to the high ground, and oh, Huntress into finding Tau Town. And Drog towards the slow ground is now going to be like his support. Ooh, Thick Widow finds a really important kill on the Null. Now these teams are even. But Jack the Cool back into the high ground, looking for whatever he can. Or Aura, though, proving to be a nuisance. Oh, Thick Widow finds a really important kill on the Huntress. And it finds Jack the Cool as well. Wow. Unfortunate for SIU. And that's going to be the, the fight. Yeah, we can see Noel now switching over to the Genji as opposed to the Soldier. Can better support the uh, the Winston now. I like the switch. Uh, SIU looking for any opening they can now. We're going to likely see Jack the Cool engage with the jump. And no follow. No one falling low just yet. Oh, Huntress gets really weak. He gets healed right up. No one's uh, not to worry. No jumps to the high ground without the, before the monkey. Oh, big anti! Oh, my huge anti from Beta Circle! Dragons are falling! And no tank means this is likely a lost fight. Yeah, I think no finds Thick Widow, and and Lunar sh falls shortly after. This fight's already over, and now it's just about pushing the cart. Bradley Warlocks can likely get one more recontest, but it's going to be tough. We see Drogs switching off of that Sigma, realizing that it just is not very strong against these uh, hero picks. Bradley maybe gonna be trying to touch. Ah, uh, they don't. They opt to just back up, realizing that they can no longer get to touch. The ults for SIU right now are looking great. Four ults online, Noel getting close to his. Uh, while over there on Bradley, there's only three ults that are gonna be online. The Bradley, though, is gonna be true, is gonna prove rather troublesome, though. Jack the Cool looking for whatever poke he can. He's gonna likely gonna jump in. Yes, he goes to the high ground, ponks the sign, got him. Exactly to where he runs, but still. Oh, big jump in! We can see this is the the downside to be to running that uh, that Ramatra as opposed to any other or some other more, more movement uh, based tanks. However, it doesn't really matter. Thick Widow meant to end fight too. Even with this Nano, Jacktical is just not going to that much. Yeah, that ends up being the fight to, towards Bradley. Oh, Jacktical barely lives. What I was saying earlier, the downside to having this Ramatra as opposed to a character like Winston or a D.Va uh, against a Winston is that if these more mobile characters like a Winston, a Lucio, or sorry, a Winston and Echo and a Genji just ignore you, uh, you can't really do much. So I, I think a D.Va pick here would, would likely be the best counter. Oh my, Thick Widow is putting on... He's lights out right now. Finds Noel and makes this fight already much harder to win. Big ant, big ant. This is really matter right now. As soon as SIU has someone not die early, they can likely get a proper fight going. But that has not been the case so far. And we can see those ults for Bradley Esports beginning to, to draw in. Big. It's a pretty big uh, knockaway for, uh, from Aura there. God, that window is providing so much pressure. Punches of dying. You can see that uh, Ana in the back end up on the really low as well. 
Oh, Dragon Blade gets popped by Stick Widow. That's for the minutes so far in this game. He even gets to go after the Baptiste. Uh, doesn't look like he ended up fighting him, but he's super low. You can see Looter in the top of the corner. Oh, gets fully healed, though. Doesn't even matter. Drog, weak on point. Has support, uses Nemesis form. Half HP, getting healed up by the Baptiste. And Jack the Cool opted to go in. Talenton finds nothing with his Death Blossom and just dies as Lunar ends up dying to Jack the Cool as well. And the cleanup crew has arrived for SIU. Nope, Tayshin into Thick Widow ends up finding him. Making sure to shut down that uh, the carry. Thick Widow uh, opening up so many of these fights for Bradley. Um, even though he's got a questionable name, he's still a nasty player. Bradley managing to get this contest and then pop the two ults immediately. Bradley and Macho. Hunter finds Drog, canceling the Macho ult, maybe pushing it a bit too far there. Got kind of out of the range of his supports. Oh, is that the cool one? 1 HP! Does not die! Leaves his bubble, oddly enough, and ends up dodging his own uh, on a grenade on accident. Looks like SAU's gonna be still trying to win this fight. I uh, yeah. after Hunter's falls, Jack Cool realizes there's no point. Uh, still committing to the small corridor. This, I think this is a pretty big mistake. Yeah, Jack the Cool's gonna actually gonna die here. Yeah, that was a rather big overextension from Jack. Just to try to get any kill he can. And that's gonna cause a lot of. Uh, that's gonna be a big time loss. What could have been a fight with some leeway has now become a. It, dire straits for SIU. 25 Starting seconds, they're going to be rushing to touch this point. Jack the Cool going to the last second Sigma. Not sure I agree with this. But, nonetheless, it is here. For whatever space he can get. Forces Drog to use that Nemesis. Uh, okay. Yes, they touch, but barely. Nanoblade gets popped. Get it, who can it find? It finds Lunar, and Lunar only so far. And Lunar only it shall be, as Bradley Esports cleans up second point. Winnable for SIU. This is certainly a doable uh, hold, but it won't be easy. They would have liked to see, they would have liked to get two points there. Or get to third. Initiating match. I think something we could have liked to see from SAU there uh, is maybe a bit more coordination with those dives. A lot of the time we saw Jack the Cool jumping in and no or Huntress not able to properly follow up. Um, or the opposite being true. Something to, to look at. As well as maybe that... Uh, Kiriko pick not being the the most advised a lot of the time we saw faded circle having to play so far back to avoid it just uh, dying from when trying to push forward and I think perhaps a Brigitte or something along those lines maybe we're switching the, that on up to make her less vulnerable but we saw those antis we saw the anti actually win the fight on the first point so the Ana was certainly a, a good pick but maybe Less death could have been preferable. If I don't get to do what I love. We can see SIU or yeah, SIU opting for this comfort comp that we saw a few weeks ago. Uh Junkrat plus Bastion. Not something you see very often, but certainly certainly a comp. <laughs> as well as a Sigma to protect them and keep them alive a bit longer. We can see now on this on the side of Bradley Esports a full dive comp. This is what proper dive looks like. That, that is the type of comp you want to see. Tracer, Winston, Sombra, Lucio, and then the Ana in the back for the Antis. A Brig oftentimes is just as good as Lucio, but... Wow! Drog! Holy, he's dead! No one ends up just deleting him, and... I don't even know what happened. That's a that's a tragic pick. This Winston is really going to struggle against the, the Bastion. Yeah, he switches immediately. They, they realize that... The, the dive is not going to work. This this comp from SIU is supremely good against it. They have so many anti-dive tools with that, uh, with the Baptiste, with the Junkrat to, to destroy that uh, bat from to destroy the Winston, and then the, the Bastion just like melts everything. Certainly would have been possible on that dive, but you would have to play it very well. Now 
see the Sigma duel coming out on this one. Jack the Cool getting really aggressive, ends up finding Drog. Oversets it. And Town Tongue has to back up. Fear of Death. Jack the Cool getting so much spam. Oh, alright, it's falling to the middle. Good pick. You see this Hanzo off on the high ground, poking down and getting whatever he can. He's gonna end up falling at the end of the day. To no. Oh, Tome going way too far forward. That's an unfortunate pick for SAU. That's quite tragic. Jack the Cool just protecting his Bastion, keeping him alive. The shield is gonna so quickly melt him, yeah. Pressure from that Zen is brutal. Ult's life are gonna be extremely important here at this point. You see, uh, no uh, has that rip tire. It's gonna be a way to pop it. He's super low. There it is. We'll see what he can get. See it off to the side there. Oh, finds two, and that's gonna be the fight one immediately. Big plays from no. Can he find? Yes, he finds Tan Tan too. That's a triple. Make that a triple kill for no. Ara dies to seal the deal. We're we looking towards those ults of Bradley now. They're approaching on four of them. Let's see what use they can make. That Soldier Note in particular, Overclock, is going to be the main one to look out for. Many plays have been made with that ult. But on the opposite side of that, Jack the Fool and Fade the Circle both are getting closer to their ults. We have Captive Sun and Gravitic Flux. Incredibly impactful ults. Jack the Fool likely going to be looking for a Gravitic Flux right here. Expecting the pop like right about now. Nope, not quite. Oh my, four ults available for both teams. Dragons get popped, Fens, nothing. Hunters die, or Aura dies onto the side by Hunters. Kind of an unfortunate pick. There it is, there's the Gravity Flux. Fens only one off the draw. I, Cat of Sun hits the Sigma, but no one else. And honestly, might have been an overkill for that, just for that kill. Wow. Jack the Cool, maybe not realizing how much damage he was going to be taking when dropping that seal. And Bradley, after that tank kill, manages to find everyone else. That's going to be the fight. Great first hold, though, for uh, Bra for SIU. Already less than a minute left in the clock. Quite impressive. SIU likely going to be trying to contest. Yes, they have their entire team here. They're going to be going through Jack the Cool on the right side. You can see Huntress popping that Bastion ult. The artillery cannon coming in. Going to be bombing that high ground where the, the window is and finds nothing. Unfortunate. Jack the Cool has a bunch of HP now on the point of testing. Look for anything he can. Town Town's likely going to be popping this. Oh, the Transcendence just keeping everyone alive besides the Widow. And that's going to be, this is going to be a hard fight to win. With the overclock popping, these players are going to be dying, dropping off the map. Yeah, and there goes the rest of the team. At the end of the day, that was a pretty successful fight for SIU. Even though they lost the point, they forced out four ults there. We saw Overclock, Transcendence, Gravitic Flux, and Amplification Matrix, all used from Bradley Warlocks. <laughs> no popping, the small spray, hiding up in this corner, looking for anyone who enters. Huntress, switching over to the Symmetra. That's not a very common choice. Noel, did you find the kill? Oh, the Hunzo's 1 HP, can he enter? He has no idea where he went. <laughs> Juked by the launch, thick window. See, Noel has that rip tire once again. See if he can make work the same match that he did before finding those two picks. Wow, thick went off to the side, over aggressive. Dies. They might not even they might opt to not even use a, a ult this fight. Yeah, Town Town falls to no and I I don't think they're gonna use it. I don't. Like both good and bad to be honest, but impressive nonetheless. You know, you, uh, I think I would like SIU to use a bit more ults than they do, because we end up seeing them just have the stockpile ults when they could have used the ult to, they could have used the ult to more easily secure the fight, and at the same time begin building their next ult. A big thing that. I recommend a lot of Overwatch players to, to, to keep in mind is how long you have your ult for. Bradley approaching most of the ults here. 
It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an old heavy fight. Oh my fate is circle getting domed by a number of Zen uh, projectiles. No, popping that web tower, see what he can find. Finds two immediately! Lunar on able to get out that immortality field in, uh, in time. Quite unfortunate. Yeah, and Town Town Falls. Okay. Amplification Matrix, extreme overkill. Um, and while he can't start putting it up, it also you don't want your ult to be completely useless. So yeah, Bradley Esports gonna have basically every full ult for this fight. They have to push about the entirety of second point to win this fight, or to win this match. And SAU is in a much better position. The Vertex Flux is likely to be popped here as they begin to play, gather around point. Will Jack the Fool looking for the rod? Does not end up finding it. Oh, full super weak! Gravity Flux has popped, finds only one on the Zen and the Trump's Transcendence. Thick one to punch Tome, and that's likely to fight. The Transcendence is just too hard to break through at the moment. But it has ended now, and the, we have the Symmetra Wall that gets popped. Ah, uh, we just see ult after ult getting popped from Bradley. Yeah, oh my, so many ults getting used. Oh, Town Town is dying. This fight becomes winnable now. Tough but winnable. Oh, Luna's super weak in the back, but he does end up living. Barely. Jack the Cool, falling weak to the aura there. This is a one hell of a scrap. Both teams are trying to find anything they can. Tommy fights Thick Widow. It's a big first pick. Thick Widow could have been the, the X Factor that Bradley needed, and now he's gone. No, popped into the, the Rift Tower. What can he find? Climbs over the side. Uh, dodging around. Finds the Sigma. And that's going to be the map for in the favor of SIU. Can't lie, I had my doubts. I'm not sure. I did not think SIU was going to win that map after the defense that we saw Bradley perform. But I was proven wrong. Very impressive from SAU there. Fantastic holds. The Junkrat working wonders, I have to say. Well, proven that the comfort picks do work. And we're going to be coming back. That is That evens up the score now. 1-1 for both teams.
SIU versus Bradley Warlocks. SIU Maroon, I should say. I made that mistake once again. <laughs> Silly me. The score's currently 1-1. One, one. An impressive first map from Bradley, followed by an impressive first, a second map from SIU. Bradley taking the Paul 2-0, and uh, SIU managing to second hold uh, Bradley's or Bradley Warlocks on Spruce 66. We have now reached Suravasa, Flashpoint. Uh, Sur Flashpoint is a very strange game mode. We can see both teams opting for the Lucio, which I was going to talk about. The rotational advantages on this map are numerous. We see Noel back on the that famous junk route once again. The amount of value that got last game was monumental and honestly played a very huge part in the success of SIU. Tactical not able to get much charge in this fight so far. Oh, there we go. He speed up the point from ja from Red Lee Esports. Now wanting to drop that point. No one's time immediately. Call it to the Lucio. This is so winnable for, for SIU though. Tough for winnable. Tauntaun looking for any wall that he ended up he's going there, but didn't find anything. Draw finds really weak. Does not have an emphasis for him. But Winchester dies, not able to speed the team in to get that proper kill. And Slowly but surely, uh, SAE falls. Huntress in the corner here, <laughs> hiding from the enemy team. He ends up, oh, and he dies to Tauntaun. Tragic. So many ults going to be available for Bradley Esports in this next fight, for Bradley. They've got both the support ults, which are building incredibly fast, I have to say. Fall um, as well as both of the DPS ults are coming close. Likely at the start of this fight, we're going to see Lunar pop that coalescence and do what he can. At the cool beginning of the push in. For whatever charge he can get. He's quite low charge right now. No, using his own. Oh, Tom Tom is not able to live from the beat. Oh, and Thick would also die. Wow, no, once again, proving that uh, his junk rat is just different. That's a triple kill now for Noel. Should mention though, that's overtime for Bradley Esports. The percentage on Flashpoint ticks up incredibly quickly. So we can already see uh, that we can already see Bradley's at 99. SC is going to catch up just as quickly though, so Bradley needs to watch out for that. And the Zarya so far has been pretty successful as opposed to the first map. So we're going to see how it continues. See three olds now available. Gonna be four for uh, Bradley, Bradley Warlocks. There we go. Coalescence pop first. Tons of value now. Jack the Cool gets a pretty big grab, but oh! Wow! What a what an immortality for Tomei. De completely denying that death blossom. And we see old and broken pop. Jack the Cool gets frozen at the point. He ends up dying. Oh, but no finds two with the jump with the rip tire. Once again, he's just different. This guy is just too good. <laughs> and Zipkini, that's a triple kill now for Noel. And the Reaper for, is going to end up dying as well. That's going to be the first point. Bradley does not have the time to touch. First point now for SIU. As a reminder, for those of you who have not played Overwatch in a little bit, or are simply new to the game, Flashpoint is a best of five within the map. So first team to secure three of these points of the five uh, within this map, win the map. This is the second of those points. SAU needs to win this or two more. See Bradley having this early advantage, this early quarter. Oh no, Bush is way too aggressive and gets cut out. Not even, Jack not able to bail him out. Oh my, wall gets popped, Prague's pushing in. Honestly, maybe a bit too far. Yeah, yeah Dra Drog has been, that is, I think that's been every single time he's popped the, the, the module. He's just, he's actually pushed way too far in. But at the end of the day, he still won the fight, so it doesn't really matter too much. SIU approaching a number of volts here. And Noel getting close to that rip tire. That clutch factor that he's oh so known for now. Let's see what he can do. I'm just gonna poke, check the call on the towards the side, engage with the Ramatra. Both teams doing what they can. Dick Widowfall is quite weak. And we're gonna see uh, SIU running some speeding in here after 
Cool, that's an actually good pocket. It's gonna be the lane, it's gonna be a big one. There we go, the window gets used for force to pop. Oh my, Thick Widow with the 3k! Just completely from the sideline. Wow. The commentator said it best, that's a team kill. Bradley, Warlocks. This fight, this this point is now nearly over. SNU gonna be rushing the touch here. Hey, that that 50% is gonna go away in a heart. It's already a 90. Jack the Cool tried to push in. He, uh, honestly, kind of a waste at all. They can't even touch point at this point. No, using the rip tire. It doesn't even matter. They lose the point. SNU, I think overextending a bit here. Uh, not realizing just. They didn't really have a chance to touch, and they could have just saved these ult for next point. That's uh, a bit of a blunder for them, to be honest, but it's alright. Yes, are you looking to try to pull back to the lead? With Bradley equalizing, this, it makes it hard. This next point is characterized by its very vertical, like its very horizontal point. You see the amount of space that these players and these teams have to work alongside. Jack the pushing in. Trying to get any bit of space. That Ramacha slow is just brutal and keeps him from getting too much uh, too much ground. It's falling pretty low. And Bradley already got the first cap. This first cap matters a lot, by the way. Look at that percent. Already at 11. It's going to be tipping it faster and faster. Jack the coins of dying. Oh my. Completely just burst down. Not even a chance. And it's likely it's just going to be the fight. Yeah. And Drog decides to use the Ramacha ult to secure the, the fight win. And Huntress running for his life. Does not escape. How tragic. Wow. Bradley Esports showing that they just have the they have the better rotates. At this point, I'm beginning to wonder what the strength of the Zarya is at this point. We've seen Jack the Cool get melted multiple times. I wonder if you'd find more success on a Ramacha Mirror pick, maybe, or even uh, some other character. Noel getting to this point early. He's pressuring this, the Bradley Warlocks to, to come back. Nothing ends up being found. Huntress pushes from the other side and finds Death Blossom, not killing anyone, but still still worth it. Hunt, uh, that beat, the blue should be getting popped. Oh, Thick Widow ends up dying before Aura can get off the, the beat. And you see the Blizzard getting used. Jack the Cool off to the side. Oh, he actually ends up escaping because of the. Oh, but Noel, Noel's Rip Tire. Unfortunately, finds nothing. Tragic. That's gonna be Bradley Esports pulling ahead. 2 1. Match point for Bradley Esports on this map. I just I didn't want to find a kill there, but all good. We can see some hero picks now coming out. Some hero switches. Winchester over to that Kiriko. See, No and Huntress both switching their picks. The pick I did not expect to see, though, is the Farah. Gonna be honest, I didn't think I'd see a Faro in this match. Uh, or at least a Faro without a Mercy. Even with a recent, even with the recent reworks. Uh, she's not a particularly strong character right now, but let's see if Noel can make it work. He worked, he made the Junkrat work. He's made other characters work in the past. Uh, so if there's anyone who can, it's definitely him. Jack the Cool hat, gonna get that. Uh, oh, he gets walled. He uses the, the, the gravitational surge, but it doesn't end up mattering as just the entirety of SNU dies behind him. It's not over till it's over. Well, I think if there's a time for the swap, it'd be now for Jack. He opts not to. Oh, there we go. Winchester has now switched over to the Mercy. You have Noel on that Farah. You have the classic Farah Mercy now available. Let's see what what this what SNU can do with this. Pretty aerial comp. I, oh, I'm gonna be honest, now with this comp now, I'm I'm questioning these other hero books. There's a bit of a bit of non-synergy in this team comp. Jack the Cool can't really support the, the he doesn't really have the proper support for the Zarya now. As he kinda just gets ignored. As you're seeing right now, the, his team just he just got ignored. <laughs> Bradley Bradley just walked past the Zarya and just didn't pay him any mind. He just doesn't do enough without the support. Winchester accepted defeat there. Uh, I think if you want to run the triple aerial units of <laughs> Far Echo, and Mercy, which is just switching off the Mercy, I think you have to, one, can't be running Baptiste. Baptiste doesn't, it does not have the, the ability to heal those players up in the air. You could rather see, like, 
an Ana so that she can stay back, maybe a Pagita to stay alive, or even Lucia, which, and you don't want to see a Zarya. So, the comp picks for SAU here and truly the uh, the factor that leads to the, to the demise. I think the players played pretty well, to be honest, but at the end of the day, comp matters so much, and Bradley had just a much, much more solid comp, and ends up securing the map 3-1. Giving them the lead in the series now, two to one. The tank that I would have recommended for SIU to switch there uh, would have been either a Winston or a Wrecking Ball, or even potentially a Diva, one of the more mobile tanks. A Doomfist would have worked as well. There's a lot of options. But a uh, Azaria and a uh, Baptiste would not be what I would recommend. So I think it was mainly those comp picks for SIU.
Hello! I am once again Gazelle, and we're watching SIU Maroon versus Bradley Esports Warlocks. Bradley University Warlocks. It's currently 2 1 in the favor of Bradley. They just took the last map, Suravasa, in rather convincing fashion. We saw some questionable comp choices from SIU, leading the main reason why they lost that uh, map, to be honest. Uh, even though they could have they could have played better, it's it still was mainly that. Oh my god, we see some carry or some player position changes. No going over to that tank and Jack the Cool now on Farah. He was on he was on DPS or he was on tank earlier. Now he's now he's done. No pushing in, contesting the enemy signal now. And I'm certain Drog is a little bit confused seeing the Lamatra uh Sorry, Matcha being no as opposed to Jack the Cool. No, no was previously on the DPS. He was a killer junk rat. Did so much. Uh, Spade Circle off the side is finding Town Town. Also, Spade Circle was previously on support. Just a number of, just, uh, of player switches. Pretty, pretty surprising. With these players and now all looking towards uh, SIU. Oh, thick way to fall. Turns back. No pushing in. Gonna get towards that Lucio. The more falls weak. He's not even dying. But Aura. Very low, it's not die either. The sig of this Ramasha now completely cut off from the rest of his team is likely to be falling. It's just a matter of time. There he goes. SIU finding success immediately in the the role changes. Good sign. No comp changes from the side of Bradley Warlocks. Progress. They have confidence in these picks. I think it's reasonable. See Jack the Cool gonna be having he's gonna have that barrage ready to pop. And Winchester has the Valkyrie also ready. Bradley Esports pushing out from the small corner. Also, Thick Widow ends up switching over to the soldier eventually. No longer on that Hanzo. Jack the Cool looking gonna be looking for a barrage here. Noel gets pushed out onto the point. Oh the Thick Widow just gets caught out. Wow, the far pick proving to be deadly. Yeah, we see Valkyrie getting popped, Defeat getting popped. Honestly, Defeat not being very impactful. Uh, the players that would have gone... Oh yeah, Jactical finds two, three. Uh, that's gonna, that's gonna fight. Wow. Why was on Jack, why was Jack on tank before? <laughs> it's proven that his far is rather strong. Uh, this is, um, this is going really well for us so far. They got forward spawns, far got a lot of space. Uh, and Noel's doing pretty well on this from Atrum. I'm I'm just surprised Jack the Cool was on, on tank prior. No. Engaging with the Ramacha too early. The Ramacha ult gets popped. He just rushes in. Oh look at this damage that he's taking. Might be a bit he might have got a little overzealous, but not end up dying. And the Ramacha ult ends up uh, fading away. Not getting too much value. Maybe he just waited a bit to pop that. Tell me falls weak in the back. See no one now pushing in. Oh, but Drog now pops his counter ult. He's tried to push it. He's previously overextended a lot on his own. Uh, and look how weak he's falling. Yes, he ends up dying. This has been a pattern that we've been seeing Drog all down continuously of just overextending with the Ramacha ult. I think he's done that four out of four times that I've seen him use that ult. Uh, he's likely used the ult more, time, more times, but that is, that's, that's pretty bad to be honest. You don't want to be dying that often by one copy the ult. Aura for Aura for Ruby. Not that. Draw it forward. It has to pop the Nemesis early. Oh, the, the Far Barrage finds two. Oh my. SIU. How, why were you keeping Jack the Cool on, on tank? Look at what he's doing. That fight won by him alone. The double kill from the Barrage just cleans up the fight. And SIU has an insurmountable lead at this point. Already in the final stretch. This, this becomes really hard to win for Bradley. Is SIU gonna full sweep Bradley's Bradley after losing 31? No, I'm happy to back up. Not able to fully contest this point that well. If you see the aggression come back out, technical force really weak, but Winchester uses the Valkyrie to keep alive. Thick Widow using the overclock finds Jack the Cool, and that's most of the damage for SIU gone. And this is gonna be a tough fight to win now. Noel's gonna have to come a few. Spade Circle's gonna have to look for one more uh, random pick, and Tome falls, and that's gonna be quite sealed. Uh, SAU just trickling away and dies. See, 
the Genji and the Loose Mercy. Trying to live, but oh, Winchester ends up dying, and that's unfortunate. Sojourn trying to push. That's pretty low, but it's not in the battery. SIU, what an incredible, incredible first uh, lead to this fight, or to this match. Honestly, couldn't have gone any better for them. That's the cool proving that he's uh, something to, to someone to be taken seriously with this car. I able to find the code on the Lucio, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. This is the spam that he's pushing out. Aura towards the back uses the uh, uses the Lucio beat. And no, at one HP standing in front of the window. How is he not dying? Okay, there he goes. <laughs> you you can't just stand in front of the window there. That that is <laughs> certain death. Jack the cool, just trying to run away for his life here. Aura, honestly, maybe getting a bit too overzealous here. Yeah. If Jack the quit some shots, he could have he could have gotten that kill, but it's a Lucio. What do you expect? Four minutes left in the clock still. A lot of time. It's possible for Riley to get this comeback. But god damn is it gonna be hard. Jack the cool off to the side. Think what really weak! Ooh, does not does not find the kill. Jack the cool just looking for whatever damage he can. He's been a mess up to the side there. No, honestly, a, uh, a bit overextended here. Doesn't have the proper support to live on point. Oh, but he ends up just living for long enough and forces the MR. Oh, but he just pushes in way too far and just dies. Drog, though, does kind of waste his ult. Or a weak on the side there. I think he's, expe he's not respecting this power enough. Drog also way too aggressive. I, I don't think Bradley's respected this far as much as they should have. Should, but Jack the Cool's also not hitting as many shots uh, or enough shots to punish them properly. Forward spawns have now been acquired for Bradley. This might be a closer game than SMU would have been. Keeping himself in the clock, it's still very doable. Oh my, Jack the Cool fights too immediately and forces up the lamp. And I mean, that's just gonna be the fire immediately. Just so fast. Fight's already over. Yeah, and Lunar just gives up a point. Wow. Pushing ahead. Join me. Jack the Cool just over and over again. Most of the fights that SCU is winning is because of Jack the Cool. I want to remind you guys once again, he was on Tank before. He was the Tank player, and now he's on uh, Farah. Noel, while not looking the most comfortable on the, on the Tank, um, is certainly doing his role well enough for Jack the Cool to pop off. Big beat getting popped there. Denies a lot of damage from the fire, but at the end of the day, it doesn't actually find it as much value as we hope. They just don't take that much damage. I think these aggro beats from Aura are maybe not finding as much value as they could be finding. Fate Circle finds Looter and Tauntaun dies to Jack the Pool. Fate Circle just pushes in trying to get anything, any more kills he can. Draws on his own. He's gonna be pushed out as Noel is just gonna be pushing in here. Trying to get any last kills that he can. Finds Aura. Draw finds Fall super weak. I, what, he got a triple kill? I think he got two kills with one punch there. And SIU right back at this dominant position. Bot almost towards the very end of the map. Just a few meters to go. Two meters, one meter. Bradley manages the touch, but it's right there, right there. No, right for. Oh, but Jack the Cool finds three! And Bradley can't touch. Wow! Maroon from going to losing Suravasa quite handedly to taking Esperanza with relative ease. And I think a big reason of that was Jack the Cool, which you're gonna see get to play of the game. From above. Tank player gone back to DPS. I apparently last season I was hearing from some people, he was on DPS the entirety of last season and they switched him off.
Welcome back. I'm Gazelle. This is SAU Maroon versus Bradley University Done. Warlocks. Of course. No. And the match is 2-2. Two, two. No. Jack the Cool previously was on tank and in the last map switched over to Farah on, on TPS. And honestly, last map was kind of a roll. We can see them sticking on the Farah even for the defense side, which can be quite tough. But they have confidence. See uh, Bradley just rushing it immediately. Look how fast they are. They're just so quick in. No taking advantage of it. They're trying to get whatever he can. But Tome, Tome falls super weak, and Noah is under ends up dying as well. That and they only get one for an aura, and that's not going to be enough. Wow, it's super quick fight. That is lights out for <laughs> for SIU. It's one of the fastest first fights I think I've ever seen on this map. It's quite impressive. Jet the cool. He's not going to get out. Wow, he does. Surprising. You get to question the uh, how good the far fix now. How good the far fix is now. Seeing as there's no mercy, seeing as uh, the grounded game that, uh, or sorry, there is a mercy. I'm looking. I was looking at the wrong side. Jack the Coon has his ult. He's he got a number of fight wins just from that ult alone last match. So, last map, let's see what we can find. No one's really able to get any ground. We can see Bradley rotating off to the side. Jack looking for a huge own! He gets three immediately! Make that four! Immediate, immediate fight win. Uh, you have to think, you have to think about... Bradley surely realized they were walking into that, right? I mean... At that point, you have to expect the far to have an ult and simply just walk around the corner and, and expect to, to not meet any resistance is the questionable. Noel getting a lot of spam here. See the entirety of Bradley just struggling to stay above uh, or is trying to struggle to keep people help. Noel's going to be using his ult right here. There it is. He gets one off though. Oh my, the beat does not find him. The wall ends up blocking it and Noel ends up dying. Wow. That wall from Tonton just monumental in that kill in the kill on the See, oh, but Toby dies to the, to the Romatra. No, that that might have the the coalescence might have been the fight win there for them. No one's getting res, but dies anyway. Questionable res, to be honest. It just kind of feeds um, Bradley Esports some more. You can see SIU. Um, Sticking on the Farah. I wonder why they're keeping to do so, but Jack the Cool is already back to the ult. Um, it's been working well enough, I guess. But... The galaxy will See, Jack the Cool in the back finds the ult. Oh, does not fight anyone. That's absolutely tragic. Uh, and I, I'm feeling after this point, we're going to be swinging a, a swap off of the, off of the Farah. See Drog popping that ult early and no one's dying as well. Got the cool playing this sharky game looking for anyone he can, but not really able to find it. Tommy falls up to the side. Fade Circle did find the kill into Lunar, but that's too little too late. Uh, that's a questionable Lucio ult. I'm gonna say Aura um, like overextending there for sure. Now 100% overextending. He's gonna die right here. Yep, there he goes. Really have to question the decision. I was a bit of a feed. Actually, I, I was a big feed, to be honest. It's really bad. Bradley's not really going to be able to push him as far as they would like. Uh, now, they're going to be stopped a bit early. So they could have taken the full fight. Tauntaun has that uh, blizzard. So a lot that he can do with it. Also, Jet is still on this far, even with this point being much more secluded and much more uh, reserved. Thick Widow drops the Death Boss in and Lions made a circle. He wasn't really able to counteract the Winchester Dice to Lunar. Wow, they're just getting rushed down. You really have to wonder if you, if you, if you want some, some comp changes. Noel using his Rancho. I'm not sure. Yeah. He's just gonna end up dying. Dire Straits not pressing you. The point's almost about to be captured. Beta Circle has the bomb. Um, I, the Blizzard just uses them, like, just zones them entirely. Jack the Cool, once again, using his ult, finds absolutely no one. The entirety of Bradley is ready for it. And begin to wonder 
if the bar was worth it to say on. And I'd say the answer would be no. Wow, he did a lot of work and was really impactful last round. King's Row is a very different map than Esperanza. That is going to be a... What was the end time there? It's really fast. Three minutes and twelve seconds from from S or from Bradley from Bradley Warlocks. That's a that's a really good time. That's gonna be hard to beat. Uh, or hard to match rather. SAU it's still winnable. If SAU uh, doesn't manage to if they manage to camp all three points, they they can still have another chance. However, if they have zero time left on the clock, it'll be uh, at best a draw. I think we're going to be looking towards um, yeah, Jack the Cool opting for the the Farah again. It makes a bit more sense on attack here. You, can, you have more space to work with. You have more angles to, to creep around. On defense, it just doesn't work as well. His ults, he only he only had his his only successful ult was his first one, where he got a three k and won the fight straight away. But after that, all his other ults were just completely useless, fighting no one. I don't work with also, we see no on the Doomfist. Right wonder how that's going to work. We haven't seen a Doomfist in this match at all. It's the first time we've seen one get played. <laughs> Easy for me to say. And oh, and it doesn't seem like we're going to be keeping it. Maga instead. Tauntaun is going to be looking to counteract this Maga pick uh, like pretty hard. It's, it's pretty wow. tough to, to play into a Mei as Maga. He has a... The wall just denies you so much space. Tactical falling low, but not really matter. Maga pushing forward, no. Oh, my fate is to kill into Thick Widow, and that's a, an immediate just advantage. And Townsend also missing the wall. You can see no pushing in with the over uh, with the overdrive. And yeah, and draw gets to die the immor or the immortality field wasn't close enough. And a very, very quick Oh my goodbye, Jack the Cool. He had Neo for HP and then he didn't. Uh, Bradley looked at the Trinity Test. Oh, but after the Thick Widow, they decide against him. Oh, Orr's going in. Pushes in. Noel's ready for it. Shooting anyone he can. He gets walled off. Uses his charge. Big damage. He's... Oh my, he's way beyond his team. Uh, Winchester trying to escape. She's not able to. Wow, I, I can't believe Bradley actually managed to recontest that. And managing to keep their, their record of... Oh. The only one, the only one of these two uh, teams to have a very fast first point. Jack the cool, looking for whatever spam he can. He has his barrage ready. Let's see what he can do. He wasn't really able to get too much last, uh, last uh, round, but looking forward to see what he can get. Thick Widow dies once he gets the beta circle. That's that's twice now that the, the first uh, the first death is. Thick Widow. I have to wonder if he's playing around these Widow Silence properly. I would say the answer is no. Made a circle or Jack the Cool having a pretty good ult that time. Basically killing the, the Ramatra and doing a lot of damage to the other players. Lunar switching over to the Ana. See, Noel's going to be on card duty here. And Jack the Cool's pushing forward. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Not as much time as you would hope, considering the time that Bradley put up, but. It's workable. It's very, very winnable for SAU. See, Tauntaun has that Blizzard ready. It's very hard for Maga to deal with Blizzard, so... We're, we're gonna be looking to that to counteract the display. We're also gonna be looking to see if Thick Widow once again dies to Fated Circle as the first pick. See, so Noel begins to push it a bit. Ends up doing so much damage to this Ramatra. Oh my! Does not really matter because of the, the. Oh, look at the There it is! Fate of Circle kills Thick Widow. Once again, it's the first kill of the fight. I don't know what it is about this player uh, or these players against each other, but it seems like. Flat. Lunar is just dead. Fate of Circle seems to have the lead on the movement of Thick Widow and is just able to get these kills at the start of every fight. And you have to look at Thick Widow and you have to say, come on, man, you gotta stop, stop dying to the Widow. That's three times now. Three. Null has this muggle. The cage fight. One of the best ults in the entire game. Extremely powerful. He pops the ult and is really weak as gets walled off and 
Wow. Very quick death. Jactical gets slapped out of the barrage. The does not die barely. But these players are so weak. Got the cool, just spamming, doing what he can. Beta Circle off to the side. This is now you get to see the strength of this comp that they switched to. Beta Circle once again finding Thick Widow. It's the fourth time now. While not the first kill, it was the second. We can see the strength of this comp uh, from SIU. They have so much poke damage, so much just sustain off to the side. They never have to truly engage. While uh, the team of, of Bradley has to actually push in and look for these picks. They have a lot of characters that are better at close range. Yeah, the the Ramash from before, the Bay now, they had the Lucio as well, who can't do much damage from afar. And SAU was able to take great advantage of that and just play their range. I would expect to see a, a May swap, but we still haven't seen it. While yes, the May is good against the, the Malga, it's quite terrible against the Widow and it's quite terrible against the the Fara. Jack the Cool is still getting a lot of damage, a lot of value in this map. Thick Widow falls really weak. It's not that. Wow. Aiden Circle is going to be looking for the pick early once again. Let's see, let's see if he manages to find Thick Widow for the fifth time. Dragons gets used. No one's, no one has a gun. Drog falls weak. Tauntaun is about to die. He's not going to be able to use his ult. The chain is blocking the Farag Barrage. That is absolutely tragic for Jack Cool. No one falls super weak to the uh, the no one can hide that is unbelievably tragic for uh, <laughs> for Jack the Cool. We're also getting blocked by the chain. It's not really going to matter at the end of the day. Tauntaun finally popped in the Blizzard after I think what feels like an eternity. Um, but too little too late. And it's looking like SAU is going to be securing or getting that three points. The self-destruct finds the mercy, but does not really nothing else. We to dying. Just just two players left to clean up. Lucio dies. Just the just the diva. So hard to control so speed. We see these players coming back for SAU. Diva dies. Just the male point now. And that's gonna be the point. After all is said and done, SAU has two minutes on the clock. Bradley has two minutes and 56 seconds. While Bradley had a better offense, I would argue that the display at the end of that match or the end of the offense for uh, SAU, while maybe a bit sloppier, they had a better idea. Their comp works better than that of Bradley. They they didn't get... Um, the Farah worked much better on offense than it did on defense. So... I'm wondering if Jack is going to stick to it when he's playing uh, when he's playing defense. He and he will. I have the question to pick a little bit. Oh, ah, uh, sorry, my 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 mistake. They're actually on attack again. So, not on defense. Staying on these ten. SIU in a great spot to try to win this game. To even it up, and this is this is a really close game. This is looking good. Time Both teams uh, have this, uh, are, it's very winnable. We see the exact same comp for both teams. And I'm going to be honest, I have to I have to question Bradley's decision to run the same comp. The only difference is the Sigma instead of the Romatra. Oh, actually, Thick Widow switched was on the Reaper prior to start. And now he's on the Hunt. It's like we're going to be looking at Jack the Cool here in Faded Circle to see what kills they can get. No, he's just going to be playing the DPS game. Uh, taking his, his chances. Oh, by Big Charging! Thick Widow falls super weak. The Immortality capacity used. No one is dying. Draw falls very low. No pushing in with the uh, Cardiac Overdrive. Oh, does he find the. He, the burn ends up killing Aura, not the bullets. Thick Widow finds the headshot at the Faded Circle and. Jack the Cool falls into the support. Tomei and Winchester just trying to make their way out, trying to leave. Winchester, 1 HP, does not, does end up getting out. No now, getting the spam that he can, crushing away the shield. Or once again, gonna be looking towards the two DPS to see what picks they can get. Oh, trying to make as much pressure as he can. He's been doing a great job being aggressive there. 
Tomei and Winchester playing this uh, really smartly as well. They haven't died yet. Jack the Cool with that ult, he's gonna pop in. Does not end up finding anyone. The immortality will be too powerful. We see trades coming out for both teams. No one told me both die, but Thick Widow ends up <laughs> once again being the first pick the Fader Circle gets. Mid Circle now using that uh, the walls to try to get any other extra pick that he can. Tactical playing the spam, he realizes that the only real person that can actually deal with him at long range here is Drawn. No one else can probably uh, cheat and uh, deal good damage. Jack, no, oh my, oh he got evaporated. That is absolutely tragic for uh, SIU. The, the Baptiste field just the brutal faded circle, not able to find anyone at the end. And Sigma pick from Drog being successful. And that is tragic for SIU. While this map isn't over, all that uh, Bradley needs to do is get one third of the point. And the map is theirs, and thus the series. This rather close series with ups and downs for both teams is on the cusp of being over. Of course, if SIU manages to full hold, they do in fact get a draw. And we're unpaused. Um, I wasn't sure if we were rolling there. My apologies if we were. Uh, but either way, we're back in the game. And I believe that was a call. I believe that was a pause. I actually don't know who that was a pause for. I don't remember who said that in chat. Either way, we're good. You can see the side of, of SIU. Finally decided to switch off of the far off of defense. Go up for that Torbjorn. Not a pick you see very often. I can't believe I fell for all that anti -omnic This is map. this map is now impossible for SU to win. And for them to win this series, they need to hold Bradley here for two minutes and fifty-six seconds without getting a singular tick. If even if they're able to fully hold them, at the end of the day, this is going to be a draw, and we will be going to a map six. This is a tall task for SAU, but they can do it. Oh my! Knows how far just disappeared there, and this this momentum is just that's brutal for SAU. <laughs> no, just dropped to below 100 HP in the matter of a second, and Tauntaun and Thick Widow are just cleaning it up, and the map is already over. Before I even got the chance to say anything, the map ends, and GG's. <laughs> Proved to be too tall of a task for SIU to win, uh, to full hold, but 5-3-2 in the favor of Bradley University Warlock. Very well done. See this play from Jack the Cool to end it off. I was Gazelle. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend.